Hi guys, welcome back to the Cassie Project. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn these boring tins into beautiful flower pots and candles. Okay, let's do this. We have got three tins. I'm going to paint them with my chalky white spray paint. Um, it's by Rust-Oleum. I'm just going to do one layer. It's going to get rid of the silver because if you use white napkins, the silver comes through. So I'm just doing one coat on there. The next day, they're nice and dry. I've got my three tins, but we're going to be working on this little one, the chosen one, and we are going to do, oh, <laughs> a magic trick, yes, oh, I put some wax in there, and now we're going to pick the napkin, uh, ooh, a cat, no, we're not going to pick the cat, we're going to pick the cactus, so this is the chosen napkin for the candle, I am going to be using PVA glue to stick stick my napkins on. Oh, first we've got to get rid of the other backing bits. Most napkins are three ply. We want to just use the top layer and cut that to size. So you, you've got to decide which part of the napkin you want to use, especially for the little tins. And I thought it would look nicer with the bottom bit. I didn't want the little red bits for some reason. Anyway, the PVA. So I just use normal PVA. I don't use decoupage glue because, well, uh, it's not amazing really. And PVA is so much cheaper. You can water it down to what consistency you want. So with the first layer, I just do PVA. Put a, a moderate amount on there and then put the napkin on. I do it in sections because it stops it getting too messy um, and yeah it just makes it a lot easier by doing a little bit of the glue pull the napkin round a bit of the glue pull the napkin round now I'm going to trim off the excess and glue down that edge and then we're going to the bottom of the candle this is really quite satisfying to do actually. If you just make it all go in the direction to the centre, it folds perfectly and continues the design onto the bottom. So that's one of my favourite bits to do. Whereas the top is a pain in the butt. You just got to kind of tuck it underneath. If you've got any excess, just trim it off or just rip it off like I'm doing, being lazy. And yeah, you just just got to fiddle with it for a bit now I'm going to make up a thinner PVA um, so I do about half and half water to PVA I'm just doing a little pot of it just so I can go over the whole thing and it just makes it better because you don't get any air bubbles because it's nice and drenched with the glue um, and it almost gives it a bit of a glaze ready for the next day as well. So this is my little um, tip, should I say, just to make it, I don't know, just makes it look a bit better. So here we are the next day, looking all pretty and ready to go. Um, but I'm going to add some glitter. Yep, we've got to have a bit of glitter on there because it just makes it. I mean, obviously, it's fine without, but... If you love glitter, then yeah, it, it, it's just glorious. So I've got two green glitters and I've also got some silver hollow flakes. I only ever buy holographic glitter because it, it, it's just the best. Um, then I use that thin paste again, the half PVA to half water. I go over the whole tin and then I pop the glitter on there. I'm actually doing the glitter as if I was shading. Um, so on the darker bits of green, I'm putting the dark green glitter. And then as it gets a bit lighter, I use the lighter green. And then on the bits where you would imagine the light going onto the plant, that's where I put the silver hollow flake in. <laughs> Thank you. 
here is the beautiful candle. I'm going to admit, this is my favourite. I think it just turned out really pretty. And I wish uh, the filming would give it justice because in real life it's gorgeous. So before it was just a baked beans tin and now it is a beautiful, glittery, incredible candle. <laughs> Giving myself any more credit, but I don't care. It's pretty and I love it. Now we have tin two. Now this tin, I've distressed a bit. I've used my, it's actually my nail file, to get a bit of the white paint off so I can get that silver coming through this napkin. You peel off the layers, by the way, I didn't mention that on the other one. Um, so a lot of the napkins are three ply. So you need to rip off the two back layers so that the design sits on them nicely. Otherwise, it's just too thick and the glue doesn't get through it. So again, I'm doing a little bit at a time and then popping the napkin round. If you give it a little bit of a pull, not too much that it breaks, it, it gets it nice and close to the tin. Trim it off and then stick that little bit together and voila, we have the decoupage done. Then I'm going to go in with my half water to half PVA and um, do the, the wash all over it just to make sure I've got every little bit saturated. The next day we have this beautiful tin. As you can see, the little bits of silver are coming through now. Um, so obviously, if you did the tin just silver, it's actually really nice because you have the silver coming through it. Um, I'm going to do a glaze all over it so that it's nice and easy for the glitter to stick to it. I'm using a lot of glitters with this one, as you can see. I'm going to do a bit of a rainbow effect on there. So I'm going to add each colour in a slight diagonal line and um, yeah, bring the colours all the way around and you'll have a bit of a rainbow. <laughs> So once that's dry, you have this very, very sparkly, pretty tin. Before, it was just a tin of baked beans or tin tomatoes or whatever this one actually was. And now it's a beautiful uh, pot for my, uh, what are they called, makeup brushes. I really, really like this one. It's really effective. The camera doesn't do justice of how pretty it looks in real life, but it is really beautiful. Moving on to tin three. Now this one I decided to go for, this awesome little London napkin. I really like this napkin. It's just so effective. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but I really like it. So, uh, yep, yeah, same again, trim it to size, put the glue on in sections, stick the napkin to it, and voila. And then we do the paste with the 50-50 water glue and make sure it's saturated. <laughs> So I'm being a bit over the top here. I really wanted the post box to be a full post box. So I cut it off the little strip and stuck it on so that it was complete and then added an extra section onto the next bit. Because if I went all the way around, we would have missed out on the rest of the post box. So yeah, I did that to make it all pretty and complete. <laughs>
and once it's all dry we're gonna add some beautiful glitter so I've got a couple of different reds I've got a black glitter and I've got some silver hollow flakies I'm just gonna do the same sort of thing again add the reds to the reds add the black to the black parts and the darker shading and then add the silver to add a bit of light to it so I'm gonna put that wash all over the tin and then add the little bits of glitter to it after <laughs> So here we go, here is the finished piece. It looks gorgeous. I love this London napkin. I think it's so effective. And I love the little black bits of glitter. I think they work really well on the hats um, and the silver with the little bits of glimmer of light on the buildings. So before it was just a tin and now it is a beautiful uh, pot for my flowers. So here we go, here's the before picture and here is the after picture. Look at that, what a transformation. Well, that's it guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you soon, bye!